Hey guys, this is Comic Uno. Today I'm doing a review for The Maze Experiment, issue 683. So let's see what's going on with this issue. Let's talk about the cover first. Um, very impressed with the cover. Love just the art style of it. It's very, I think, clear. The coloring is awesome. So uh, definitely very impressed with the cover. Uh, love the concept of it. The Avengers backing up Spider-Man uh, with his costume, with his... Uh, Sinister Six, anti-Sinister Six costumes, so I thought that was pretty cool. And, um, just very impressed with the cover. The only thing I don't know if I didn't like or if I liked about the cover, I would say I have mixed feelings about, is Avengers roster being on it uh, for the Avengers movie. And I was like, alright, hopefully, like, I, right now I'm okay with it. They're in the issue, fine, okay. I'm excited for the Avengers movie. I... I'm very excited for the Avengers movie, so I'm happy they're bringing it to comic books also, in every comic book that we read, you know? So, but I'm just hoping that they don't overuse them. I, I, like, I think they're really great characters. We have Black Widow, Iron Man, Hawkeye, Captain America, Thor. We have such great characters in uh, the Avengers roster, um, and I'm just hoping they don't overuse them and make us bored with these characters. Because it's like, oh, you know, uh, Black Widow again, Hawkeye again. You know, just, you know, even great characters can be overused. And I just hope that they don't overuse them, even though the Avengers movie is coming up. So like I said, it's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing for now that they're using it. They haven't overused it that much yet. So I'm just hoping that they don't overuse it. But for now, I think it's okay. I still love the cover. Still love every member that's on the Avengers team. Still very excited for the movie. Just hope that uh, Marvel is just not trying to make money off them and just put them on every cover. You know, you get bored after a while about that. So hopefully they don't do that and they just kind of use them um, scatteredly. You know, all right, we'll put them in the Amazing Spider-Man this week. All right, we'll put them in this Avengers. You know, like, just scatter them around. You know, just don't put them in every... Don't put them in Daredevil, you know? So just hopefully they're not on every cover. That way, you know, that's Marvel's way of making money. But uh, still, love this cover. Great cover. And let's see if I like the story. So on this issue, we get to see Sinister Six is really having a big plan you know we saw that in the last issue they have this big plan they are bigger and better than ever and spider-man's having a hard time so he gets his friends the avengers and they go to the government and they have a talk with the government and they're talking to the government and spider-man recognizes al gore doesn't look right and he sees that it's not al gore it's Shyamalan. and you know the government's like all right this happened now. We saw that Shyamalan uh, was Al Gore. Obviously, this is out of our hands. You're going to have to deal with uh, Dr. Octopus. We trust you. And they go to the Sinister Six, and uh, they find the Sinister Six, and they battle them. Every Avenger's down. Even Spider-Man is down. And it seems like the Sinister, or the Sinister Six is winning. And Spider-Man's like, all right, now it's one against six. What's going to go on? I'm not going to let Dr. Octopus win. I have to win. And um, how am I going to do this, though? They defeat the Avengers. They're not a weak team. They're my friends. How am I going to defeat How am I gonna defeat Dr. Octopus? It's like, it's impossible. So that's pretty much the end of this issue. I thought it was a great issue. Great issue. We get to have a lot of action, a lot of great story in this issue. We even get to see, uh, which I forgot to even mention, J. Jonah Jameson takes away all the power for Horizon Labs. So even we have that Horizon Labs problem, we have the Horizon Labs can't help Spider-Man in any way because they don't have any power. So they have to figure out a way to still, you know, still work in Horizon Labs and not just, you know, abandon it uh, with our power. What are they going to do? They have smart people, but what are they going to do? So uh, we have the whole Horizon Lab story. We had the government story, which was actually very interesting. And we also had a great action scenes with, with great stories saying, you know, Spider-Man saying, wow, what am I going to do? And him actually being down with the whole Avengers team in the back being down also and defeated. So what's going to happen next? Great cliffhanger for the next issue. And, um... Uh, something I really enjoyed in this issue was that um, they didn't use, like, government people, like, all right, this is Billy Bob over here, this is, um, you know, Sally, um, we're the government. You know, using pretend people. They actually use people that are in the government now. Um, Hillary Clinton, uh, um, President Obama. We have people that are in the government now. Al Gore. You know, people that are very 
in the government <laughs> that are, are involved in the government. And I, I thought that was a very good idea with the global warming. Definitely was a great idea to have Al Gore and Shyamalan pretty much be Al Gore in this uh, issue. It's something I always like about um, bringing people that are in our pop culture right now and, and not even pop culture because they're not you know, Lady Gaga, but they're in our culture right now, and when you look back 20 years from now, you're like, oh, this is a time when President Obama was president, you know, so you look back, it's always kind of nice to have, and I'm glad that they use real people in the government and not Billy Bob and Sally. So, uh, definitely was, a, I thought it was very great, and it was interesting. Like, usually I hate government parts, you know, I'm like, alright, this is so boring. Get to the action, get to the superhero story, let's go hate the government parts, but um, this was interesting because it's, it's using real life um, people and bringing them into comic books and I'm glad to have that. Um, I thought that was very impressive. So I really love this issue. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, cover was great. Art was great. Um, very uh, clean cut art. I just really, really liked it. I know some people are not loving the the Spider-Man armor, but I kind of like it. I think it, it's cool for him. And again, look, great art. Great fighting scenes. Uh, I want to see what happens next with Sinister Six. Are they going to win? Um, is Dr. Octopus really going to be a good person in the end because he's dying? I don't think so, but it could be interesting to see. Um, I've been very impressed with Ends of the Earth. Uh, it's a story arc that had kind of hype for it, and it's been good hype because it's been a good story arc. Dan Slott knows what he's doing, and let's see if this is as good as Spider Island, because you guys probably already know if you watch my videos a lot, I'm a big fan of Spider Island, and I'm hoping that Ends of the Earth is just like Spider Island, a great story arc for Spider-Man. So this is Kamiguno, hope you guys enjoyed. I give this five stars, and this is my pick for the week. Uh, great issue, and hopefully this continues to be as great as, as it has been for these past two issues for the story arc. So definitely a great issue. So again, pick for the week. And also, guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. In the description below, there'll be a link for that. I'll just have comic book news, reviews I'll be doing, and topic videos I'll be doing. And also, don't forget to follow my other YouTube channel, The Rand Situations on Twitter. I'll just have news about those videos. So I hope you enjoyed. This is my pick for the week. I give it five stars. It's awesome if you're not reading Ends of the Earth. Uh, start now because it is the beginning for Ends of the Earth. So uh, pick up uh, the last issue and this issue and... Uh, Try and enjoy Ends of the Earth, because I know I am. So, definitely pick up this issue. This is Kamaguna. See you guys.